but if you've got a very chatty child, this next one is the book for you. Um, so John Burnham, you can see that's another very loved one. Some of these slides are very creased and loved. And um, I think I might pretend you're all my children or my class, and I'll give you some of these choices, because this is a book of agonizing discussions. Um, would you rather your house was surrounded by water, snow, or jungle? Right, hands up. And you've, everyone's got to vote. No, no, no. So who says water? Right. Uh, snow? Jungle. <laughs> oh, I'll give you a few more choices here. Would you rather help a fairy make magic, gnomes dig for treasure, an imp be naughty, a witch make a stew, or Santa Claus deliver presents? <laughs> and I read this one last night to my two great nieces who are eight and eleven, and both of them just went off to make their own books. You know, they they um, they just. Oh, right, I'm going to do one. Would you rather this? Would you rather that? And I think that's quite, a, you know, it's, it's nice when a book can actually inspire children to write. Um, we were saying, I told you that like, I read this last night as well, the six year old, and she was saying to me, What's your choice? And then quite you know, objectionable, but my choice wasn't the same as hers, and trying to persuade me. Yes, it's a good exercise. Yes, and, and um, debate and discussion yes. and persuasion. Yes. That's right. Um, I think that's all the extraction that I mean some of them are nice things and some of them are embarrassing things like would you rather your um, dad did a dance in your school or your mum had a rally in a cafe? <laughs> 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 